If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. Our homegirls up in Chico came down, hung out with us for the day, talked all about them building Our their home business. Girls. And uh, <laughs> man, I absolutely love these pizzas. They have oh, a great product. It's pizza crust made with an entire head of cauliflower. There's very minimal ingredients, unlike other cauliflower pizza crusts where you look on the back and it's like, cauliflower, wheat, and a bunch of other stuff. It's like, what's the purpose of doing that if you're going to put a bunch of other things in it? This is uh, minimal ingredients. Again, uh, they're delicious. We eat them all the time. They literally made these with people like me in mind. <clears throat> and I mean, they saved my life. And the ladies themselves, or you know, are that we interviewed, are awesome. We love them. In fact, did you see that we were featured in Food and Wine with them? Oh shit, I did. I got to look at that. Yeah, we were in a little magazine. Shout out to the home. Yeah. I, they, I know they arranged that, set that up. So that was a pretty cool, sweet uh, shout out there. We also uh, are featured on their YouTube channel right now, where the, the two of you knuckleheads were making a pizza. Yeah, people soon will see the ones that we created. Oh, I also like that we got into some of the business talk here. So those of you that are starting up a small business mm -hmm. and looking to grow it to a seven, eight figure business, uh, what these ladies have done in the short uh, short period of time it's is very in, impressive. Very impressive. Impressive. Incredible. Uh, I know they work now. Well, last time we talked to them, they had a team of nine. I mean, in the last year and a half, well, they've they're only making been, moves. Only been like what two years? Less yeah, than two years yeah. they've been in business. Uh -huh. They're they on have, fire. They right just now. exploded. And you know why? Once you once you try the product, you get you understand right away. And, you, oh, yeah. and once you hear them talk and you hear about what you know what they have behind it and mm -hmm. their integrity, we love them. We love these girls. We love their company. Um, and as you guys know, we don't associate ourselves with companies that are not great. And this company's great. Um, the company is Cauliflower Foods. That's Cali, like California, C-A-L-I-F-L-O-U-R Foods, F-O-O-D-S. Now, if you go to cauliflowerfoods.com and you enter the code MINDPUMP without a space, you'll get 20% off uh, all orders of $50 or more. Now, they do have regular uh, cauliflower crust pizza crusts. They have some that are red bell pepper, some that are spicier, and then they have a vegan one mm. because the other ones have a little bit of cheese in them. Dude, that jalapeno one is bomb. Really good. I get the vegan one because I can't have dairy. Um, great stuff, great for kids, very healthy, low carb if you're great dieting. Great for people that have any sort of autoimmune issues. Definitely. There's uh, very low with food intolerances. Um, the people we're talking to, Amy Lacey, who's the CEO and founder of, the, uh, of Cauliflower Foods, and Rachel O'Rourke, who's a good friend of ours and who leads the PR and events team. We actually did a booth with her at the LA uh, Fit Expo. Oh, also, uh, we're working with them to give our uh, intuitive guide uh, to their audience. So we're working with them to promote it, to talk about what intuitive eating looks like. And um, we t I think we talk a little bit in this episode um, about that, but um, well, when we were down in LA, this was what our this is how we collaborated, right? So Sal and I flew down to LA. We had the the girls; they were set up. The ladies, sorry for those people that get offended by the word girl. The ladies came down. They were with us uh, at the expo. They were actually handing out uh, different pieces of the pizza, all the type different types of pizzas. And then Sal and I were talking about intuitive eating. So that's really how this collaboration started with them is because we talk a lot about uh, intuitive eating, and we think this is a great source for those people that love pizza but are looking for an alternative that's a healthier choice. That's right. Now, if you are interested in the intuitive eating guide, we've made it very inexpensive on purpose because we think everybody should can benefit from reading this guide. It's $29. You can find it on our site, mindpumpmedia.com. Without any further ado, here we are talking to Cauliflower Foods. I want to hear about how you started... Your company, Cauliflower Foods. So we're Cauliflower Foods, like California Fresh. Mm -hmm. And we make cauliflower pizza crust and basically artisan bread. And so um, I wish it was a funny story. Maybe you guys can make fun of me. <laughs> well, are you? Is it, are, did you create? Did you create this because you like Can't cauliflower? Because you like pizza? I absolutely mm. hate cauliflower. Okay, actually. see what? Uh, That's kind of That's funny. That's very interesting. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. So, so as uh, a joke, no, I'm just <laughs> how many morons are going to buy my pizza crust? <laughs> By the way, mm. delicious. Like it's it's really good. It's yeah. delicious. 
Yeah, Rochelle brought us a bunch of pizzas, and I almost couldn't get a piece because Adam and Justin almost no, ate I all ate, of them. I ate like all of it. Because yeah. they're pigs. I've it's, actually it's, taken the ones that you've given us for free and shipped to us, and I've already ordered more, too. That's how much we've been eating. Really? Yeah, it's become actually, this is kind of our thing now, Katrina and I. So Friday night- um, To get freaky. Yeah, that too. That's oh. after the pizza, though. So <laughs> Not I warm pizza. her up with Kill the pizza. The <laughs> so what uh, what we do now? Be, we get our little uh, spread out. We, we get all the all the different things because we like to make each one of us have to make our own little concoction, right? So we get all the the, the things that we're going to put on there: chicken and bacon and eggs and bell peppers, onions. We got cheese. Everything's out there, right? Avocado, and uh, we make a bunch of pizzas up, and then and that's kind of like our Friday or Saturday night. Uh, enjoy ourselves and have a good time watching whatever movie or or fight or whatever's going on. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we do that, and then. And the next morning on the weekends, I talk about this on the show a lot, that I fast a lot on the weekends just because I don't move very much, especially during football season, Sundays. I could literally sit in the same chair all day long. So I don't need to consume as many calories. So what I'll do is I will fast until 2 or 3 in the afternoon. We use all the leftovers that we use for the pizza, and then we turn it into this big omelet. So this has become like this little thing that we do now. Wow, this is sophisticated. We started it because of uh, because of the cauliflower uh pizza crust so mm. what's good about that is we had a uh, friday night family fun night where we used to eat pizza so i mean you're talking about like having your fun time with your girl so eating cauliflower pizza is light you're not gonna feel all weighted down like regular pizza which is good it's super important yeah because it's only 180 calories for the entire nine inch and depending on what you put on it and three net carbs. Mm. So you're going to stay down. light. <laughs> yeah. Oh my You're not going to feel up. like He's a... Like, huh? Nine inches? Yeah. yeah. Nine, nine, inches. nine inches. Oh, God. <laughs> I see where we're going. Yeah. Oh, I like well, you it. Started, you started it, oh, although Sal did start it with a uh, freaky with my girl. Yeah. And I don't like to, so I am get very self-conscious when I get bloated and I won't have sex with Katrina. So exactly. it is excellent that we have the cauliflower I'm foods. Bloated. I'm not bloated. I don't get... I am like who that. Who wants to... Yeah. Who Nobody wants to wants go have, that yes. route when you're all bloated? I don't know. Well, blo- was, bloated sex can be fun. You are right. weird. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. so you went back. Go You're back special, to how you dude. started the the company because you guys went on this meter. I mean, you guys took off like, but not from the beginning. No, there was so, like a shift. We had talked. We were talking about this outside the studio. Yeah. So, kind of a sad story though. The way it really got started was I had a I had surgery, <clears throat> a surgery that wouldn't develop a blood clot. I ended up getting a pulmonary embolism. So they went in looking for it, diagnosed me with lupus. So kind of fast forward, I need to change my diet. And we literally did have family fun night, Friday night pizza, which hmm. my husband never got lucky on Friday night because <laughs> I'm serious. You feel bloated and disgusting. See, and you don't want to do anything. Right. Yeah. So, I am normal. <clears throat> football Noted. or not. Noted. So anyways, I had to alter the way we ate. So I started substituting what we were doing and the kids love pizza and you look online for pizza recipes that are healthy and cauliflower pizza crust comes up like four million times. I'm not kidding. Mm-hmm. It's a huge DYI. So I started playing with it. I don't like cauliflower. It's not a vegetable I bought. I love vegetables, but I'm not a huge cauliflower fan. I am now. I've learned to love it. Mm. And we just started making it. And then we had friends over and people started loving it and they wanted to have me make it for them. And I decided to do a cottage license and sell it at farmer's market. And it was selling out every farmer's market. So then one step led to the next and we... Did what, you have, what, what's a, what's a co- would you say a cottage license? What is that? What did you spell? That's where you can make it in your house and sell it. What, it's called a cottage license? A cottage license. Mm-hmm. Explain that make to me. Sure. Well, cottage is like okay. a house. So can you? Thank I mean, you, Sal. Yeah. You're do you, Thank you're welcome. Do you want to eat? He's so helpful. <laughs> Ignore this asshole and answer me. I want to know what a cottage license is. Could you explain that to me? So, <laughs> you know what it's like when people bring potlucks and you're like, "Ooh, I wonder what their kitchen looks like." Uh, okay. yes. Yeah, is there cats all over? Is, it, is she the cat <laughs> lady? Is she the cat lady? <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> gross. Yeah, it's gross, right? Does the cat lady make meatballs? <laughs> gross. Nobody wants to eat the cat lady's meatballs. What? Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in oh agreement, goodness. I guess. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Get back to yeah. your your cottage. You have a cottage <laughs> license, so you have to. Now, is it hard to get this? Can I go get a cottage license and start doing that? Or do you? Is yep. it, like- it depends on your kitchen okay. and how many cats you have. No, but seriously, you you get investigated. It's actually harder to get a license to develop and create and sell a healthy product with no preservatives than it is to 
well, my last business was getting lasers, medical lasers into another country. It was easier to do that oh, than that's get funny. the license because there were no preservatives mm-hmm. in it. And the and rationale there still is no preservatives. And the rationale behind that is no preser- no preservatives, therefore they think it could spoil and prevent, you know, uh, right. and cause it's problems. Clean, four clean ingredients. <clears throat> Cauliflower, cheese, eggs, and spices, and then we have a dairy-free option too. That's the one that I that I eat. So you had you didn't have experience in the food industry. No experience in the food industry. Wow! So you're like a real this. like you're yeah. an entrepreneur, like a real. You're like the like mind pump in. of pizzas because <laughs> we had no fucking clue what we were doing when we started this mic <laughs> no, thing. Exactly. Not at all. No idea. We still just, don't. <laughs> I hate talking. You know how this happened. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So the first year we launched March of 2016, Farmers Market. We ended that year, as you know, starting a business takes a lot of funding. And so we ended that year as my accountant just reconciled 2016, negative $269,000. Wow. So end of 2016, you're in the hole. So we're in two stores. We're selling out in farmer's market and we're selling maybe a thousand units online. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you're ne- But you're negative. You've got more debt we're than negative. you do. Yep. And so at this point, is it still out of your house or have you built, do you have a kitchen somewhere? So at this point, I've starting in like midsummer of last year, I decided that it was getting to be pretty intense to do it in my house. And we kind of formulated a process, which I really can't talk about because it's pending, it's patent pending. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I hope it goes through. Mm-hmm. Um Anyway, so we switched to a co-packer. We started by renting a commercial kitchen, and then we hired a co-packer to help us manufacture it. So what now? Now what <clears throat> changed? Because you went from negative two hundred eighty thousand to you guys are Kicking killing it right now. Yeah, the like, power of social media. Yeah, mm. so, and there was one thing in particular you one, told me about. Yeah, one right. thing in particular. So we had this friend of mine that decided she was going to start eating the pizzas to lose weight. Now, she was doing some other things as well, probably some things that you guys have argued about, some fasting, some just cutting out all carbs. Exercise, different things. Stuff. Yeah, a little bit of exercise. Mm-hmm. She lost 169 pounds, but the one thing that she did consistently for seven months was eat our pizza every mm. single day. I was just sending them to her for free. So we threw her up on Facebook. We did an ad, just kind of playing around, new year, new you. And it wasn't that we were promoting the pizza as a diet, we were just saying, this is one of the things that she changed. She called it her lean and green. Mm. This is one of the things she changed and she lost 169 pounds. And we launched that January 3rd, that ad on Facebook. I happened to be in New Zealand, which is where I had the medical lasers. So I was out there. Oh, you were doing that still? <clears throat> I had sold it. Okay. That's what funded this business. But um, I was out there visiting family. We have family in New Zealand. And I have um, a girl that worked for me. Just There was just me and this other girl that worked for me. And she calls me and she's like, um, have you looked online? Like, where you're selling the heck out of this? And I said, no, you know, because it's January 3rd. I've just been celebrating New Year's. And so I jumped on. And sure enough, we had sold more the first week of January than we had um, all of December, which December was a pretty good month. The end of January, we just on this one Facebook ad, we basically had sold one hundred and two thousand dollars worth of pizza. Holy shit! Yeah. yeah, wow. So that was nice. Now, That's did you exciting. have now did you have the foresight <laughs> when you did this, or was there a, was there a little bit of dumb luck here? Did you know to total throw it against the wall? Did not we do now? Even the timing though, like I mean, mm. January third to put a weight loss advertisement out. I mean, that's pretty brilliant. I mean, yeah, to, right. So that. That was our naysayers said to me, well, that's because it's January and everybody's trying to lose weight and look at gym parking lots. They're full and that's Mm going to change. And no, we have learned who our demographic is for Facebook. And then we also, our Instagram, we started at the end of March. We're now at 36,000 people following us. So we know what that demographic is. And we've really spent a lot of time studying it. We're now um, eight women. We've hired, there's eight of us now. That's right. You guys don't hire men. No. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed. That's not true. I'm just, I'm just we would hire. Yeah. We would hire all of you. It's okay. Guys. They're dumb. No, you would. Yeah. Yeah. No, we would. Right. It's a good we strategy. Would. Just keep we'd love it. to work yeah. with you. All right. Cool. <laughs> but, I mean, we'll fire. I, we're going to fire Adam soon. Anyway, <laughs> come over and make pizzas for you guys. Yeah. No, seriously though, we it started out us just kind of throwing things against the wall to see what worked, and uh, we started getting a following. And then we really started studying our audience and we made customer service our number one priority. 
So we really, I mean, our customers are our family. Like I still do. I still try to, but I used to write every single person that was buying our crest wow. a letter, a handwritten letter. Wow. I still I try to write the top fifty people every month, and we just really connect with them. It's interesting because we have so many people, huh, Rachel? Tell, yeah. Tell uh, so many people call in and write in that this product's changed their life, which sounds funny, but. You know, I mean, it's the business itself. It's cool because you have a lot of celebrities that are eating it now, and it's like exciting because you meet like, you know, like a lot of really cool people that love the crest. I mean, you guys love like the crest, mind pump, right? right? Yeah, right. Yeah. You could say E list. You could say we're the E list. <laughs> yeah. But you get these people that I mean, we have this little kid. He's like five. His name's Gavin. He's going through cancer treatment and loves pizza. I might even cry just telling the story. And couldn't eat pizza because he had to change his diet because of his cancer treatment. They send in this video of him eating pizza, and it's that kind of stuff. Where you're like, this really is life changing for some mm. people. I mean, a lot of people. Amy created it because she has an autoimmune disease. I mean, that. I mean, there's just a, kind of a forgotten about demographic of people mm-hmm. that you know you don't even really think about. Yeah, people lose weight because it has low carbs and it only has four ingredients. It's awesome, but. Mm-hmm. Like this is like a game changer. Yeah, yeah, you're giving people more options, right? And, yeah. and you guys have actually been able to take some of these crusts and bring them to like actual pizza joints, right? And they're oh, buying yeah. them and giving people yeah. more options uh, to come in. That's great. Yeah, we're in restaurants. We're in a lot of grocery stores. We just got in our uh, first biggest chain. But primarily, most of our sales is still e-commerce. And... Um, it's well, that's been, the way business is now. I mean, yeah. I really, I really, I've, we've now met uh, through doing this podcast businesses very successful that that's all, almost all of their business is through e commerce. It's really changing. Mm-hmm. Business is changing uh, quite a bit. But on, on the autoimmune <laughs> topic, you know, it's this, there's this growing epidemic in modern societies, in America in particular, where you have this explosion of autoimmune diseases. And it's not really being talked about a lot, but if you look at, charts of autoimmune diseases and you look at how fast they've gone up in terms of you know percentage of the population it has literally exploded and it seems to be exponential in growth all autoimmune issues and we're not even counting the mild you know irritable bowel syndrome type stuff i'm talking about the the main ones like like you said like lupus or crohn's mm-hmm. where it's just exploding and uh it, although it's not recognized yet by western medicine Many people in this field, uh, naturopaths, um, experts who work in this field, and people who suffer from these disorders will tell you that one of the worst things they can eat when they have this, these types of issues are, are wheat-based type foods, gluten. Absolutely. And that eliminates a shit ton of food. It eliminates a whole category of foods to eat. Like, I'm, I'm it's Italian. some of the best ones. <laughs> it is. And I'm, look, I'm Italian. Like, I don't eat gluten. I'm, I also have autoimmune issues. And I can't eat gluten. It just they just it just causes me to have more problems, which means I can't eat most of the foods that we that we serve. You know, pastas they have options now, like made with like organic corn and rice and stuff, and it's 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 not bad. But pizza, I've not had any. Well, I think real you should clarify options. can and can't too, because it's not that you can't. You can, you could, but you feel like shit afterwards. Absolute garbage. And right. I think a lot of people didn't. And I was somebody who didn't really connect this till later on. I was just sharing with the boys, like, man, if I have something like that i'm very connected now to how my body feels afterwards and who doesn't love eating pizza i mean eating pizza is fantastic but god i tell you what the next day i am paying for it all day long and i still would put myself through that because of how much i like pizza so to be able to enjoy to get some of that 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 craving or that love for pizza that i that i have to be able to do that and not feel that way afterwards and i mean that to me is everything and it's made with uh, not just a replacement, but a really good ingredient. So uh, cauliflower, part of the cruciferous family, very high in compounds that are being studied right now for their effects on cancer. Sulforaphane is one of them. Indole 3 carbonyl is another one in particular that uh, directly has been shown to fight uh, hormone-sensitive cancers, in particular breast cancers. Right. And there's lots of science going into them. And so to get getting people to eat more of these cruciferous vegetables, it's a freaking great thing, you know? Oh, yeah. It's a win all the way it around. It is. It's a win-win. Mm. And a um, couple of things I want to say, Western medicine, that's interesting because when I was having rashes all over my body, didn't realize what was going on. This is prior to being diagnosed. I was They were treating it as poison oak, poison ivy. I was getting shots of steroids, which mm. heavy doses of steroids, mask, lupus, 
mm-hmm. the effects of lupus. So um, that's interesting that you said that. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, Rob Wolf, I don't know if you're familiar. We, yeah, yep. we're friends with him. Okay. We'll so be with he, him on Monday. So mm-hmm. he um, had created uh, a gym in Chico, the first CrossFit gym. Mm-hmm. And he was, um, him and his wife, Nikki, were one of our trainers. And he actually sat me down and said, look, I think you have lupus. I think you have an autoimmune deficiency and you need to cut out all your gluten. Wow. So he's the one that told us. So he is the first person Um, to bring it to my attention before getting diagnosed. And then once I, they ran the tests on me, you have to have positive blood work plus active (laughs) symptoms. And I had both. And then they put me on this horrible drug called Plaquenil, which you have to have your eyes checked regularly. So is it an immune suppressing (laughs) drug? Yes. And so quickly I got off of that by altering the way I eat. And I can tell immediately when I eat gluten because I swell up wow. and then I feel arthritic. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these disorders start uh, in the gut uh, mm-hmm. and that's what the problem. So the, the, the prevailing theory is that you develop inflammation in the gut um, and certain compounds, the body tends to have more of an affinity to recognize as uh, a foreign invader, gluten being one of them. And so, and so it's not necessarily that it's not like gluten is evil. But if you have inflammation, your body's more likely to recognize gluten as a foreign invader. You develop antibodies against it and you get this and then you can get the systemic immune response that can manifest in different ways. And in your particular way, it was lupus. So you're off medication because you changed the way you eat. Right. What are, what are the foods have you had to eliminate? Um, pretty much anything white Mm. and that's why we've created the hashtag the new white flower Mm -hmm. because we're coming out with some other products um using cauliflower as a flower base um can you talk about those or no (laughs) they're secret i actually just (laughs) you guys are so damn secret we couldn't get into the the lab we can't find out what's coming up in advance you have to come to the facility i know well i this morning i was with um one of the guys that helps me create products and we've got something really exciting coming out. I'll just give you a little tease. It's going to have some collagen in it. Mm. Mm. So I'm excited, but we like to keep things really clean and simple. So just simple ingredients, clean. I think people really want to know where the ingredients are coming from. So we're using organic cauliflower now and, um, Oh, fantastic. So now they're all organic. The crust themselves are not all organic yet. Mm. We're working on it. Excellent. But the cauliflower, which would have a lot of pesticides mm-hmm. on it, is organic. So I think people want to know where they're, they, they want to be able to read the back of the ingredients and it doesn't have some funky words on it that they can't pronounce. And then they also want to know where their ingredients are coming from. That's really important. It mm-hmm. is. And the market is starting to shift in that direction. Uh, we, we partner with uh, Thrive Market, for example, which is a, a company that sells all organic non-GMO products. But they're super transparent, too, in terms of let, you know, making sure that where they source their products, that the workers you know, work in good conditions and that they, they're very environmentally sound and that they donate a membership to a family in need. And it's like the, the consumer is now demanding all of these things. Well, we were just, before, I was just not. talking about this on a podcast yesterday, getting interviewed and saying that this is the future of business period. Like, you know, 30 years ago, you didn't have to, uh, we didn't know, like nobody knows, like you say, Pepsi, Coke, like you don't have a name or a, or a person that, that comes to mind when you think of these companies, but the future of business will be that way. You'll say a company and that you'll need to have a face or a brand or some sort of reputation behind that because of social media, because we can connect to each other so quick and so easily. So now the consumer's demanding that there's so much com- it's so competitive everybody can have a good product now it's like okay now i care about your message where you're sourcing it yeah. from all these other things so that's a important piece now have sure. you found through your different social media platforms that you have different demographics and audiences and we're just getting into this now in, you know right. for our business and you talked a little bit about this are do you see that where you see like okay here you know on this particular platform we have younger kids and here we have you know, uh, you know, moms and over here, we've got people who have autoimmune issues. Yeah, definitely. Um, Rachel and I have spent a lot of time going over social media and really studying the demographics of each one. And right now we're using the platforms, uh, Instagram and Facebook. That's our, our two main, we do a little bit of Twitter and we have Pinterest. Um, we, and we're definitely going to start doing podcasts now that we've spent time with you guys. <laughs> but Rachel, why don't you tell them a little bit about the differences 
between well, Instagram and Facebook. Well, Instagram seems to definitely be the younger crowd. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're much more visually inclined with the photos. If you look at our Instagram, it's it's kind of started a trend where people kind of compete against each other to create these beautiful cauliflower pizza crusts. And so we see a lot of the millennials on there. Um, with Facebook, it's definitely like 35 and above. So we've tested our Facebook ads and targeted with the exact same ad, like the 20 to 35 age range. And they do not, I mean, a fraction of the success that we get from the 35 to 60, um, mainly targeting women. I mm. mean, women are the the decisions, yes. decision makers. <laughs> They're the typically. buyers. So that's very and true. And the product is easy. It's really easy. And so it was, I'm a mom of three kids. I have a 14 year old, 13 year old, nine year old. So I'm really busy running a company. Now eight women that we've hired. Plus my husband's super busy. Um, so I wanted to make something that was simple and easy. I mean, you can whip these out of the freezer and throw them in the oven and have a meal well, and in, that's, 10, di- in that's, 10 minutes, not 10 days. <laughs> well, that, and that's, 10 minutes. That's the big difference, though. I mean, I've made these before, before, you know, the company was created. And they're, like, I mean, they're really tricky to make. They fall apart. They're time consuming. Yeah. Trying to get like the the liquid out of the cauliflower takes mm. freaking forever. So when we see people like, you know, naysayers comment on online, they'll say, well, I've oh my gosh, you can just make this yourself. Like, yeah, oh. go ahead and do it. Yeah, well, I got to chime in on that because we've tried multiple times, like my wife and I, to uh, introduce like a, a different option for pizza, especially for the kids because they just love pizza. And uh, we've tried to make cauliflower and like mash it up and like do the entire like labor intensive process. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's like an all day event. And, yeah. and then by the time you get it, 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 cr- it like falls apart in your hands when you go That's to eat soggy. it and then the whole thing just like crumbles and so it's like yeah that was a cool idea and then we just moved on <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah did your kids eat it they did oh, they, they ate it but you know it was one of those things where <laughs> it didn't really fill them up either because like by the time you have like all that cauliflower you have to mash up you know it was like this really thin crust and like so anyway it was. It didn't work out. So yeah. this is definitely we've, one of those we've, atten- we've attempted it and failed yeah. ourselves too because we use cauliflower. We use it like in replace of mashed potatoes and what else does Katrina use? We've used it in a, quite a few recipes, and uh, we we always fail on trying to make like it as a bread, like trying to make it as a bread and keep it to to solidify. This it doesn't to bind well. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely yeah, well, challenging. We, Much easier to order it in your guys. It's, right? <laughs> it's shipped so to my can, house. A lot you easier. can make um, sandwiches out of ours. Right. We show those. Um, lasagna, lasagna frittata for the next day with your extra ingredients. Mm. You know, the next morning, make a frittata. Where do we get these? These all these are all on your website. Where we get all these recipes? They're on mm. the yes. They're, okay, okay, and cool. Then when you order it, you also get a recipe in your box. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, cool. But we're going to come out with a cookbook soon. We are yeah. Smart. launching my book. Wow. Yeah, I was just going to ask where, what's uh, what's in the future right now. Where where are you guys putting? I know, obviously. We know what it's like to be growing a business, and I'm sure there's a million things going on and pulling you in different directions. But what are you most excited about in the next, you know, six months to a year? What's what's in front of you guys? So I really want to appeal back to our customer uh, base, and we have this following. I have this little subgroup on Facebook that I interact with personally. We I want to offer them something more than just pizza and our other products that are coming out. By the way, we have more than just what I mentioned. We have a couple that are going to be coming out by January. Um, I want to be able to offer them some tangible advice, um, working with some people like yourselves, like-minded people that can give them exercise tips, um, ways to just make life easier for moms, busy moms, and just in general, anybody. It doesn't have to be a busy mom. That's just, that's who I relate to. Um, also, we get real personal. I went through menopause. Lupus causes menopause to happen early. Mm -hmm. So I went through at the age of 40. I'm 48. Um, Definitely see the effects of going through menopause. So I'd love to offer women that are in that age range some hope on some ways to just feel better. um, Well, so what's cool is the cruciferous vegetables, when you consume them, uh, indole 3 carbonyl, I believe, gets converted to something called DIM, which uh, can convert estrogen uh, to a form that is more beneficial to women who go through menopause. In fact, you can buy it as a supplement, but one of the best ways to get it is naturally. Yes. So, should help. Yes. Okay, definitely. cool. Very cool. I don't, I take no. <laughs> no hormone pills. Uh, excellent. I just eat a lot of pizza. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> that sounds pizza. a lot better. That's a, that's a commercial, that's a right? Line. Yeah, I was just yeah. say that's an advertising. Facebook no advertising. Pills, pizza. Yeah. I'm so impressed. 
impressed with how much you know, by I the know. way. He's I'm the random. smart one. Yeah, he's You're super, amazing. He's super <laughs> random. <laughs> <smart one. Yeah. laughs> he's the Ask Jeeves of the group. Yeah, yeah. I, it's all random information. It's yeah. it was it's useful now that I have a podcast. <laughs> Otherwise, it wasn't useful whatsoever. So very cool. Yeah. So uh, so looking ahead, you've got these new products. You guys, 2017 have exploded. Yes, I think I told you we ended the year negative in 2016. Um, this year to date so far, we're a little over $3 million in sales on just e-commerce. That doesn't include grocery wow. or restaurant. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, so we I had to learn quickly what that meant and how to, to grow fast. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah so how, how much things, were you scambling when you grew that fast? Because I would imagine you're used that's to- That's other problems right, right there. Right, right, yeah, right it's, away. It's interesting because I had somebody come to me at a, a food show that wanted to invest in our company and I was really excited. I thought, this is the answer. This person's going to help me. But they wanted to change the integrity of the product. They didn't want to make it handcrafted anymore. They wanted me to add some fillers, which um, there are other cauliflower pizza crusts out there, by the mm-hmm. way. Um And I wasn't willing to do that. So that investment opportunity didn't happen. But I feel like if we stay, you know, true to who we are, we stay clean. We know where our ingredients come from. We don't compromise to make a buck as far as um, you can make it a lot cheaper when you add fillers. It's more automated. I think um, our customers will stay loyal to us and they'll realize the quality of the product. Um, We get a lot of diabetics type one and type two. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to spend 2018 working with diabetics more. It's amazing that there are kids with diabetes now because 10 years ago, there were no kids that had type two diabetes. When when we went through personal training certification, when we first became trainers years ago, they didn't call it, uh, they called it uh, adult adult onset onset diabetes. Mm -hmm. It wasn't called type two because kids didn't have it. So something crazy is going on. There's a yeah. lot of stuff that's going on right now, but you've got kids who are just, so something needs to change. So Yeah, and I, I mean, we've, we see an increase in all kinds of things, hyperactive disorders and all kinds of things that kids are being treated for. And I really believe the source of it is our food. Yeah, we, you wouldn't get any disagreement from us. We talk about this all the time on yeah. the podcast. Mm-hmm. Right. So Excellent. Well, very cool. Exciting to see you guys. How did you guys meet? How did you guys... Oh my goodness. How did we meet? So we were both actually health coaches a couple of years ago and um, we kind of partnered together on a few things. We had an office inside of a gym and when I moved to Portland, we kind of separated a little bit. And when she um, decided to launch this company, I was working at 24 Hour Fitness as a general manager and I knew that this was going to be huge. As somebody who is trying to make the damn crusts and they're such a pain in the ass to make, I was like, this is going to be amazing. And my husband was like, you need to get involved in this. And I reached out to Amy. I said, hey, do you need any help? And and here I am now. I started off part time and... Um, you just, manage all the like social media marketing stuff or what is your role? Exactly? Uh, so I am the events and PR coordinator. So oh. we do a lot of different events uh, ranging from like an you know, pre-party at the Emmys to food shows to trade shows. We're doing a, a pizza party next month for the cast of Hamilton. And so I, I plan all of those and do a lot of our PR work. Very cool. She That's does great. a lot of everything. I do a lot of everything. <laughs> she was amazing. I put her in the gym because I knew that she would be more appealing. <laughs> she was working. She was um, at that time. I mean, she was doing bodybuilding contests and a mom of four, four kids. Um, well, she took you. she took second. <laughs> I like she this. took second place. Keep on. And I, was this was this a figure? Uh, no, bikini? it was bikini. Awesome, yeah. very cool. Yeah, it was like awesome. Years ago. I'm like you need to be in my gym office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then when she left, I'm like, I know we're gonna work together again someday. Yeah. Very cool. What a great story. Yeah, yeah, feel yeah. good story. I like to see uh, successful companies like yours with. Um, you know, just the right message. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how you, you know, tried to stay true to your brand. I also think it's a smart business decision. In the past, it would have been, you know, people would have said, well, that was dumb. You should have just gone with the, but today, like Adam's saying with transparency, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think if you don't stay true to your message and you don't uh, really stay true to your core, especially your core base, you're setting yourself up for the flash in the pan success and failure you know, later on. And we've seen this happen now in fitness. It's starting to happen quite a bit. So let that be a lesson. If you're, yeah, Yeah. if you're an entrepreneur, (laughs) like 
be honest, be true, because the days of fooling people are are, are kind of over. You are done. I agree. Yeah, yeah. People read. I mean, the internet. People are looking things up all the time, Googling. By the way, we're in Google now. We okay. serve our crust. But um, oh, yeah, just go. throw that out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, people are smart now. They're reading labels. They care. I mean. Excellent. Yeah. Where can they, now, where can they find your product? Give yourself a plug here. So go to www.cali, like California, C-A-L-I, flower, like the new white flower, mm-hmm. F-L-O-U-R, foods.com. Order it online right now. We're having a tremendous special that includes this cool pizza pan, um, $5 across, free shipping. And then also um, we're in, I couldn't even name all the stores because most of them are mom and pop specialty stores. Um, In the Bay Area, we're at Molly Stone's, we're at United, we're at... Yeah, I think the easiest place is is online. I mean, we actually went back and forth on whether or not we were even going to go into stores. Like, is that even like worth it for us. And so many of our customers wanted to be able to have a place to purchase Mm. it. But I think the main, the easiest way is online. We actually have a special discount code for your guys' listeners. You can get 20% off by just typing in Mind Pump. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hooking you guys up. Yeah, I think what'll probably happen is you guys will just keep blowing up through e-commerce and then you're going to have the chains probably come to you and be like we want to carry her and then oprah product. will ask you on and you know yeah. Yeah. oprah yeah. oprah should yeah, yeah she should eat this <laughs> we'll, put, we'll put in a good word by, like, by then by then mind pub will be as big as oprah so it doesn't really matter yeah, it's, yeah. it's like That's six true. points on weight watchers is, is it oprah, really yeah she endorses weight watchers at six points there for the go, entire oprah. nine inch <laughs> oh, there you go excellent oh, there's that nine inch yeah we'll end on that we'll end on that <laughs> <laughs> we'll check it out go to youtube go to mind pump tv we post a new video every single day so subscribe now we also offer 30 days of coaching for free for everybody. Just go to mindpumpmedia.com and subscribe. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.